today I want to take you on a walk down Yangon's Chinatown, 19th Street, but I want to take a different focus than the usual street foot videos, as really surprised and captivated by this Chinatown. So you will see the street life and the food, but I want to focus on the beauty of the buildings and to sneak into some doorways and take a peek to see what I can see. And as always, of course, I have to film the animals and the children as they're just too cute. I hope you will find this Chinatown as captivating and as interesting as I do. So let's jump in the grab, head on downtown past Shwedagon Pagoda to Middle 19th Street. Let's go. Okay, I'm here at 19th Street, so I'm gonna film the action around me, what's happening. Stupidly, this time I remembered to bring my sound, but that's the wrong plug-in sound mic. So uh, let's see how we go. So this was my first time ever to visit 19th Street. So at first it just looked like a standard Chinese street food. Not so interesting, right? But uh, as I got deeper and deeper into the street, it got more and more interesting and really not what I'd expected. what this is it's so interesting so one of the challenges that I have is all the time on the street really lovely things are happening to me this man behind me just tried to explain what this fruit is and then a lady a little bit further on offered me to try the silkworm with the leaves and the silkworms are absolutely delicious I love some of the local foods here but uh, yeah, anyway, back to the locals. I would love to film them and just how nice they are to me, but I don't want to go and stick my camera in people's faces. So I'm losing so many beautiful interactions here. So how cool was that? I've just captured a meow, an old temple, and it looks like it's been converted into a tea shop just here. It's really interesting, this street. I'm hopefully capturing some good shots along here. And um, it's like I'm less rubbish at talking to camera today. And about this point in the street, I started to pick up on a different vibe and I didn't realise I was humming Havana. I knew I was in Chinatown, but I could also feel Cuba in the air around me. Some of it looked just like Cuba. As I walked further along 19th Street past the standard street food stuff, I started to notice and be drawn in all by the details that usually I miss because I'm just looking at street level. When I started to look up past the nightclubs with people coming out in broad daylight, 
I started to notice how beautiful the buildings were. A lot of faded, elegant, so romantic, really lots of interesting details, bright, colourful clothing, fabrics, painted shutters and Chinese writing everywhere. So I started to be sucked into and focused on those details of the past. Meanwhile around me what was happening was all just the normal daily life on the street. People repairing things all over the place, friendly dogs coming up to me and weaving through all the life on the street and even the friendlier people were watching me so it sort of started to draw me in. It's an incredible street with so many fascinating things to see. along the street here there's always so much life. Oh, they're too shy to be on camera but they're cute. People are always saying hello. Good? Okay. <laughs> As I continued walking and filming along the street and people were getting used to seeing me interacting and talking to the dogs, the owner of this bar started to talk to me and then he very kindly invited me in and showed me around and gave me a little bit of history of the place. God of God of art. Yes. 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 That's cool, I'm at this really cool bar and the owner, I caught him in the street and he was just telling me a little bit about it. And his little brother's a photographer, so upstairs he made him a gallery. I'm not very good at videoing people and I didn't want to wave my camera in his face, but uh, I'll try and include some of that in this week. And you local Myanmar people, if you're around and you want me to do a story on you, let me know because uh, I'm too shy to just film people. I also know you guys are super shy. So there you go, while all the other YouTubers are capturing street food and making yucky faces and making fun of 
the food on the streets. Here's Miss Lisa catching things that you just won't see, focusing on the beauty, the architecture, the people, the history. I'm trying my best, guys. So at this stage, I'm completely drawn into 19th Street. I don't know if I'm in Havana or Chinatown. And then I see another doorway, so I take my chance to do another cheeky peek inside. People are just so charming and lovely and welcoming here. So then I started to wander back up the street and if you're ever wondering how I get some of these shots while I only have an iPhone to film on, I'm going to show you in a very Casey Neistat style angle coming up how I do it. Here I am doing a weird street angle because I'm too lazy to use a tripod and if I don't use a tripod I get better shots because people are less freaked out. So it's getting on towards night time now, so the music is starting to pump up. But what's so nice about here is that people are still living on this street. You can catch glimpses into life along here. fun evening out to come out and uh, come down 19th Street. So much life and fun and action and interesting things to see. And as always in Myanmar, the people are the best. They're so friendly. So I've done all of the length of one side of 19th Street, but if I look at the main road, I can see there's another length over the other side. But uh, I think I've done an okay job today of filming. So uh, I think that's enough shots to put together and show you this week's video. So unless there's anything else I see, I'm gonna say goodbye from here and I'll catch you in next week's video.
Thank you.